Hi YouTube, it's Kiana. Um, excuse the word angle, and if I'm not looking directly at you guys, excuse that as well. I am on my husband's work iPad with, as you can see, little man laying on my chest. And excuse the mess behind me, I got papers I gotta sign, um, a lock scarf, and my Pepsi. <laughs> I've been kept out on this chair for like the last hour, because Bubby here, well my poor Bubby, he, um, doesn't feel too great. I think the formula is hurting his stomach. So the fact that he's asleep right now is an absolute blessing. So I figured I'd take the opportunity to make a video real quick. Not to mention my seven-year-old is also sick. He has like a fever and um, he has an appointment tomorrow with the pediatrician. And I'm waiting for the pediatrician to call me back about Isaiah. So I was like, let me make a video real quick because... Um, making a video on the iPad is a lot easier to upload quicker to YouTube than anything else. So, that being said, um, Isaiah is three weeks old, so that means I'm three weeks postpartum. And um, everything's going good. Uh, I want to make a separate postpartum video and a separate video for his three weeks. So, right now, I always keep the video a little general <laughs> because I don't want to go 50 billion years long. Like I usually do. Um, hmm. Let's see. Um, sleep is almost non-existent. Matter of fact, I probably will do like a little update-ish and just go more detail on the other ones. Um, at night, he's still confused. He's still very confused with his days and his nights. So, um, as you can see now, he's asleep and he's about to start crying. And I don't know what press fire is. Oh, sh 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 it's okay. Um, so he sleeps like most of the day, which allows me to get a lot of stuff done. But then at night, when I'm ready to wind down, he's like staring at me. And I can't go to sleep with him awake. So, a pin mark. It's a pin mark on my couch. You see that by my hair, right? Yeah, I'm going to have to talk to my kids about that. Um, so yeah, when I'm ready to wind down, he's awake. And my husband started a new job, so he's not up at night like he usually is. <laughs> Which means I am, um, oh goodness, I'm up with the baby. Like last night he cried to the point that I literally was up from 3 to 5 and I fell asleep and had to get back up because my daughter had to be in school by 8.15 and I ended up falling asleep because everybody's like, well you just need to sleep with the baby sleeps. If I sleep with the baby sleeps, nothing to get done around here. And I can't, you know, be this unorganized. It's bad enough that I'm unorganized right now. Then I'll wrap up this video. I'm going to go cook dinner and clean the house. Well, it doesn't really need to be clean. Just pick up some stuff. And then tend to the kids. Oh, gosh. Um, But if I sleep where he sleeps, then I'll be asleep all God dog on day. And nothing's going to get done. But I do feel like I'm so tired all the time. It's ridiculous. Um, So he sleep right now. And trust me, the minute I go to get up, he's going to start screaming and hollering. But... Thank God for pacifiers, and I know you're not hungry. God just fed you, and you're dry, so all is well. So you'll be okay. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm a little upset with my milk production, but I can't blame nobody but myself for that. Um, he doesn't latch at all, and um, the formula seems to be hurting his stomach. I'm gonna ask his pediatrician when he calls. Um, told my husband I would attempt to try to pump more, but pumping is just like the worst thing ever to me. It doesn't produce enough milk. Um, the right produces like two and a half, three ounces, the left like an ounce and a half, two. And that's how, yeah. So I was helping me with formula yesterday. He had formula all day. Um, so breastfeeding is not working. Maybe if y'all have any suggestions besides pump more, I would love to hear them. Um, I'm going to go to the health food store and get some mother's tea and or mother's milk tea and see if that works um, or anything else. If y'all have any suggestions, just please let me know. Um, that way I can help him. Because before he was getting breast milk and formula, but now he was all straight formula and I noticed that's where the problem started. So either he's lactose intolerant or infamil, which is notoriously, for my babies, infamil was the only formula I would use, is too harsh for him. And that's really weird because Similac is like the harshest formula in my mind ever. So I don't want him to be hurt because I am choosing not to give him any more breast milk, which is not the case. If I get my supply up, 
I will totally, you know, pump and give it to him. I bought new nipple shields to see if that will help to get him to latch on better. Since he's a little bigger now, he might be able to do it, but I'm not sure. So we'll see. I'm going to try a whole bunch of different things, but y'all pray for me because I'm tired. And then I have two other kids I deal with. Excuse me. My older two are, um, wow. And if y'all didn't know, when I yawn, my eyes water extremely bad. Like I'm crying. So I'm not crying. My eyes are just watering. Um, my older two are such big helps, but with my oldest one sick, it's like I'm dividing my time between the little one and the big one. And my middle one's birthday was yesterday. Oh, goodness. My middle one's birthday was yesterday. So, you know, I had to, you know, give her her time. And it just feels like there's not enough time in the day. To take care of my bottles. <laughs> There's not enough time in the day. Let's do this. Because this is like not working. For me to do everything that needs to be done. Around the house. Or you know. To be done period. Because something's always falling through the cracks. I was supposed to make a crock pot full of beans for hubby yesterday. Forgot about that. I was supposed to uh, make a phone call for hubby. Forgot about that. I mean I am like really letting stuff like fall through the cracks. I'm surprised I was able to remember to pay the electric bill and I did that like a day or two late I really forgot about that <laughs> so I'm just like trying to get everything back on track and in order and adjusting to the fact that there are three kids in here and two of them are amazing at doing stuff themselves I'm looking for a pacifier and I have one who's completely dependent upon mommy and daddy and really it's mommy because daddy works and then when he works I don't require him to get up at night to do baby care or anything for baby so I'm doing that all by myself so it's like I'm doing 24 hour baby care for Isaiah and I'm like oh my gosh so during the day it's me and Bubby and then it's me Bubby TT and David and I'm just like oh goodness I have three kids and it was I reminded that because it took me 10 years to do my I'm exaggerating but it took a long time to get my hair retightened I made an appointment to get my hair combined no lie. I'll go combine these locks. I'm like, shoot, I got 300 and something, 350 or 360 something. I can go to 200, 150, 200 locks easily and be happy. But um, I buckled down this past weekend, sat down with the baby. I fed and changed him and he was sleeping for a good stretch of time. I sat down and retightened my whole entire hair. So the scarf is not because my hair is not done. Um, I need to wash, decondition my hair. I know that because my hair feels dry to me. Um, and I want to color it, but I can't color it if it's dry. So, um, so I'm going to change the appointment I have. She didn't want to do it right then, um, now anyway, because I'm postpartum only three weeks. She wants to wait for postpartum shedding and changes in my hair and this, that, and the other that happens. Because, you know, a lot of times when you... A pregnant, your hair grows leaps and bounds, but then as soon as you have that baby, after the weeks, it sheds and falls out. I didn't have that problem with my other two pregnancies. As a matter of fact, I had the opposite. With my daughter, my hair fell out completely, but I was relaxed then, so that could have been that. Oh, every video, but now I actually have a reason. Um, my daughter, my hair actually fell out, but I had a relaxer then. I relaxed with my son too, my hair didn't fall out though. So, I guess it was a girl's to your beauty thing. But, um, yeah, my hair fell out. I'm waiting for my black behind neck <laughs> to start getting a little lighter. It looks like it's getting lighter to me. But the mask of pregnancy usually happens on my forehead. I get black on my forehead and all around here. This time it was like from all of my neck and like top of my chest. Looks look black. It all get out to me. And that's what got dark. So, I'm waiting for that to lighten up. <sighs> Um, like I'm feeling really almost back to normal besides the huge boobs and, um, all that postpartum extraness that we'll talk about in my postpartum video, which would be a little more of a TMI type of thing. So if you want to watch it, do, if you don't, don't, <laughs> but, um, my channel is really eclectic as you all know. So we talk about everything under the sun. So I would talk about it in this video, but this video is already approaching 10 minutes. And I really want to go ahead and start getting some stuff together because it's 10 to 5. So um, I want to get dinner done and make some soup for little David since he is not holding any solid food. He's not going to be able to eat baked spaghetti. Um, 
But yes, you guys, that's what's basically in a nutshell going on. I'm t- a total disorganized mess. I need to start getting ready to work out. I'm waiting for the doctor's appointment at six weeks checkup to tell me I can't, although I feel fine now. You never know, so I'll do all that and got to weigh some other options, have some things to discuss about with hubby before that appointment because, yeah, I think we're done at three. So we need to have a conversation about that. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But I really want to upload a video for you guys. Um, I appreciate y'all hanging in, stick with, in with me, especially with the infrequent videos. Very infrequent videos. Y'all see him? He is he is gearing up to go. He, okay, puppy. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. So he's done. <laughs> Just in time, too. But thank you for staying with me um, throughout the frequency of my videos. I greatly appreciate it. Okay. Okay, okay. And to all the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. You can see I'm rushing now. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye.